from the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your North Coast Neighborhood Forecast. Everything Medical has been your complete source for medical supplies since 2007. Our 10,000 square foot showroom has the largest selection of home medical equipment in the North State. We have what you need. Everything Medical, Athens Avenue, Reading. Well, we did get to see a bit more clearing for some of us on the north coast. Of course, for the Elk Country Trinidad cam here, still looking at the mostly cloudy skies here uh, late this afternoon. And we take you up north, though, into Crescent City and a bit more clearing out there. Got to see some sunny skies out there. Of course, here's a look at Battery Point out at Crescent City. Uh, just a beautiful shot right now of, of the uh, coast here. So as you start heading northward into the mountains, or excuse me, into the coast, that's where we did see a bit more in the way of clearing. So we do have a warming trend this week and it is including the coast. I think the coast will be looking at some warmer temperatures late this week as well. But there is an excessive heat watch for Trinity County. We'll take a look at that here in a second. But the big heat for all of Northern California arrives this weekend. But of course the coast really not really feeling that big increase in those temperatures. Now for tonight, uh, for the inland areas, we'll probably drop somewhere down somewhere in the low to mid 50s, whereas the coast also in the low to mid 50s. Now, Tomorrow, about 90 inland, and for the coast, obviously cooler temperatures there will be in the low 60s. And for Trinity County, probably dropping down into the mid-50s for those overnight lows. Looking at sunny skies here for your Tuesday, temperatures somewhere around 93 to 94 degrees for Weaverville, Hay Fork, and Lewiston. All right, so here is the excessive heat watch. It does include Trinity County. Now, for the mountains, you'll see here I've got 100 to 110 degrees. So places like Weaverville, for example, Hay Fork, you could get over 105, but not quite 110. But it is getting pretty hot for some of those higher locations here. Uh, and I would be willing to say that we should probably be looking at excessive heat watches for places like the inland areas of Del Norte and Humboldt counties. And I think eventually Siskiyou and Modoc County, all of Modoc County, will be a part of this as well. But if we take a look at the trend here for Trinity County, this is what I was talking about. You can see it's going to peak on Saturday and then temperatures start to drop after that. And notice how slow it takes before it actually gets here. I mean, we go into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, low to even some slight, slight, slightly making it to the mid 90s by Thursday, but then a bigger jump on Friday and even bigger jump by the time we get into Saturday. So those temperatures should start to drop though for next week. Now all the heat is coming from the desert southwest where right now they have excessive heat warnings. And temperatures there are forecast over the next few days to be 115 degrees plus. So that's the source of heat for us. So that's gonna be expanding westward here really this week. So here's what it looks like on Thursday. You see how the main bubble of heat is still down to our south, but it has kind of expanded into our region. And that's why our temperatures will increase a tad as we go into your Tuesday, Wednesday, and in particular Thursday. But by Friday, Saturday, that heat will then begin to move northward over us. Now, as a result, our temperatures will peak on Saturday before they start to dip again going into Sunday, Monday of next week. You can see that, that heat very quickly will retreat back down to the south by Monday of next week. Still hot though. Temperatures most likely close to 100 degrees for some of the inland areas, but by early next week, I do expect we'll probably drop below that 100 degree mark. All right, let's take a look at that fog that we can expect to see here for the coast. And really overall, as we go into Tuesday morning, we actually may start off with some fairly clear skies out towards the Crescent City area but that fog may hold on fairly strong in fact may come back tomorrow afternoon even for Crescent City tomorrow afternoon on Tuesday then we go into your Wednesday Wednesday morning you see how we have that fog out there but Wednesday afternoon we'll probably get to see a little bit more clearing so it's that time of the year right where you start to see some of that fog and especially at the high angle of the Sun sometimes we can get that fog to burn off a bit and not to mention some of these uh, upper level flows and the patterns that can help to kind of whisk away some of that fog there is a small correct advisory that expires when Wednesday at 3 p.m. Now that's mainly along the coast of southern Humboldt County. This small craft advisory here will expire tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. So we look at those wave heights as we take you into the next 24 hours. We're actually going to see them increase a little bit here, especially as you start heading out to sea. Probably not as bad though as you head along the immediate coast. 
So here's your marine forecast for your Tuesday. Winds from the north at 5 to 15 knots. Waves from the northwest at 4 feet at 5 seconds and from the northwest at 2 feet at about 10 seconds. There you can see your high tide will be tomorrow morning at 8.06 and your low tide at 109 in the afternoon. No advisory with the exception of, of course, a small correct advisory down into the coast of southern Humboldt County. Tonight, we're dropping down into the low 50s for places like Trinity Center and Weaverville. But hey, Fork Ruth, probably somewhere in the mid to upper 40s. Now you head inland, low 50s, and for the coast, also looking at those low 50s overnight tonight. We take you to Tuesday, there you can see the mostly cloudy skies along the coast. Sunny skies inland with a high of 90 in Hoopa, 92 degrees out in Willow Creek, Garberville 87. There's a Trinity Center with a high of 94, as well as Weaverville and Hayfork, a high of about 93 degrees. So let's take a look at your 7 day forecast. We're going to start off with Crescent City. Temperature is increasing as well. I mean, we're in the mid 60s, maybe even some upper 60s by the time we get into the weekend, but they'll drop back down again. And I don't expect it to entirely clear out for a prolonged period of time. So we'll call it partly cloudy, at least for Friday through the weekend. Now for Hoopa, you're up to 100 degrees by Friday and over 100 degrees this weekend. Weaverville, over 100 degrees by Friday, 107 will be the peak of that heat wave on Saturday. Here's your seven day forecast for Eureka. Those temperatures are going to be in the low 60s for those daytime highs. And it looks like uh, temperatures eventually starting to drop as we go into early next week.